Good morning. I welcome uh, each of you to the Subcommittee on Economic Opportunity for the Veteran Affairs Committee. Uh, today we will take testimony on four bills, H.R. 3860, the Help Veterans Return to Work Act, introduced by the Honorable John Garamendi, H.R. 4115, the Higher at Home Act, introduced by Honorable Steve Stivers, H.R. 4740, the Fairness for Military Homeowners Act of 2012, introduced by the Honorable Duncan Hunter, and H.R. 5747, the Military Homes Protection Act, introduced by the Honorable uh, Elijah Cummings. Uh, welcome to each of you. Mr. Starvers, recognized for five minutes. Thank you, uh, Chairman Stutzman and uh, Ranking Member Braley for holding this important hearing on several pieces of legislation today, especially this piece of legislation that aims to help returning veterans uh, receive employment at home, the Hire at Home Act. I also want to thank my uh, co-sponsor, my lead Democrat co-sponsor, Representative Tim Walls of Minnesota, for his hard work on this issue and helping me tackle this important issue. This bill is designed to improve the cooperation between the military and state agencies to more closely align specialized military training with state licensing and certification requirements. The bill came from an idea uh, at a veterans roundtable in my district in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm grateful to the group of local young veterans, uh, three of whom are attending the Ohio State University and talked about the problems uh, they had in uh, getting back to work when they came back from Iraq and Afghanistan. The number of uh, soldiers returning from Iraq and Afghanistan is huge, and it makes this important all that much more, this effort that much more important. And uh, you may know that the unemployment rate among post 9 11 veterans is 12.7% according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. By allowing military training in a comparable field to count towards certification in the private sector, we'll get veterans back to work more quickly and be able to help their families. Uh, specifically, the Hire at Home Act would apply when a veteran seeking state certification or license to become a state-tested nurse assistant, EMT, certified nurse assistant, registered nurse, or a commercial truck driver. This legislation simply ensures that the states consider a service member's experience by allowing them to skip expensive and time-consuming hurdles to employment. For example, an Army medic who administered medication to wounded soldiers and was responsible for their lives on the battlefield could not be certified as an emergency medical technician in many of our local communities without redundant schooling. This bill would make the transition much easier and alleviate the pressures of unemployment in our veterans' communities. One of the best ways to honor the service of our veterans is to give them an opportunity to do the same job at home with the un without the unnecessary burdens of additional redundant training. Our bill would accomplish this objective, and we're willing to work with anybody who has any amendments on the bill um, and look forward to um, addressing any concerns anybody might have. Uh, this is, I think, an important bill to help get our veterans back to work. Again, I appreciate the uh, chairman and the ranking member holding this hearing and look forward to working with you throughout the course of getting this bill passed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Thank you, and thank you to each of you uh, uh, for uh, bringing these bills forward. And I, I think they're uh, uh, timely and, and very uh, sensitive to the situation that so many of our veterans uh, uh, face today. Uh, 